length, area, and volume. These ideas should be familiar from everyday experience. Length tells you the distance between two points. The distance between Los Angeles and Boston on a straight line is 4,170 kilometers. But a length doesn't necessarily have to be of something on a straight line. The perimeter of the continental United States is about 31,000 kilometers, depending on how coarsely or finely the squiggles on the coastline are recorded. There are a variety of units that would be acceptable to report this distance, but they all have the common characteristic of being a length. Now let's talk about area. It's easy to calculate the area of a rectangular object, like Colorado, by just multiplying the two lengths of height and width. A length times a length gives you length squared, or area. Calculating the area of something with an irregular shape, such as the United States, can be quite a challenge, but in the end, it will have the same units as length squared. The United States has a surface area of about 9.6 times 10 to the sixth kilometers squared. This irregular shape has the same area as a flat square, 3,100 kilometers on each side. But just as lengths don't need to be straight, areas don't need to be flat. All three-dimensional objects, for example this apple, have a surface area that has the units of length squared. If you peel the apple and stretch the skin out flat, you could measure the area in square centimeters. It doesn't matter if the peel is flattened out or curves around the apple, it still has the same area, and that will have the units of length squared. You can recognize that something is an area just by looking at the units. Whether it is square, round, flat, or curved, if it has units like meters squared or kilometers squared, or even nanometers squared, it represents an area. Finally, there is volume. You are familiar with volume units like gallons or liters, but you also get a volume when you multiply three length units together, such as height times width times depth. For example, an aquarium might have dimensions of 40 centimeters by 80 centimeters by 30 centimeters. When these are multiplied together, you get a volume of 96,000 centimeters cubed. The centimeters cubed says you have centimeters times centimeters times centimeters, so you know this is a volume. And just like the length and area dimensions, volumes don't have to be a regular shape. So if you are very creative, you could make a very irregular shaped fish tank that had exactly the same volume as your regular one.